Hey Garden Taggers, it's Anna from Seedball, lovely to meet you and it's lovely to be part of the Garden Tags community. We really enjoy following your gardens as they bloom and listening to your hints and tips and implementing them at Seedball HQ. Now at Seedball we really focused on urban gardening to help wildlife. Um, the reason being that if you combine all of our gardens together they cover an area that's larger than all of the national nature reserves combined. That's 270,000 hectares of garden that we've got. We could all make them wildlife friendly. We would have a huge, huge impact for wildlife in 2017. And that's not even including our balcony pots, our window boxes, our hanging baskets, and all those other tiny little spaces that we could make a difference, walls with trellis up them with honeysuckle. Really, it's looking around you and seeing what can you do to make space for nature. Now, one thing that obviously we think is really important is planting wildflowers. If we plant wildflowers, we can make a huge difference for the UK's pollinators. And for example, it doesn't have to spend a lot of money. This is a pot from Ikea, um, not even a gardening pot. Fill it, filled it all the way to, with soil. And then we've got wildflowers just growing in there, seed balls. And they will bloom in the summer around this kind of height, so that above the pot. Um, a mixture of blue flowers that really attract in bees, white flowers that are perfect for butterflies and for moths. Moths in turn, if they come into your garden, will attract larger species such as bats. So really, you're increasing those insects in your garden. You're going to increase the animals that feed on those insects, such as birds. It's a massive, massive knock-on effect and something you can do super, super easy. So plant wildflowers and save bees.